And today is a real celebration because today is a baptism Sunday. We have one person being baptised in the 9 and three in the 11. So yeah, get excited. Shout about that. Let's celebrate. Come on. Now, for those that are here for the baptism, I'm really excited to welcome you, whether you're online or in the room and you've come, welcome. We love that you joined us today. A baptism might be something that you've seen before. You might think, I don't know what this is about. And just let me help explain a bit about it. In a moment, Shannon's going to come up and share her story about how Jesus has changed her life. She's going to go behind into a tub of water, a pool of water we have, and go underneath the water and come out again. And that sounds a little strange, but it's a wonderful way of declaring that she loves the Lord Jesus. It's a public display of a personal choice that she said yes to Jesus as her Lord and Saviour. A bit like a wedding ring. It's a, a public display that I have on my finger that talks about a personal commitment I've made to my husband. And so this is a symbol, this baptism, a symbol to show whose team she's on, who she's made a commitment to. When Jesus walked this earth, he said to believe in him and be baptised. That's the next step when we said yes to him as Lord and Saviour. And just like he died and rose again, when Shannon goes into the water, she goes under the water, it's a way of saying her past life, the way when she followed her own way is dead, dead to the sins and the ways of the past. And as she comes out of the water, just like Jesus rose again, she comes out into a new life saying, I'm following Jesus and his ways for the rest of my life. So that's why Shannon does this. And this is such a significant moment in her walk with Jesus. Well, why don't we put our hands together and welcome Shannon, who's going to come up and share her story. Two mics, we want to make sure we really get to hear your story. Good. So, good morning everyone. Um, My name is Shannon and I am 16 years old. So throughout my life, I've always been around God, Um, grew up in a Christian home, went to a Lutheran primary school, and I've been attending Clovey since day one. Um, When I was younger, I always knew that God was real and Jesus died for us and learned all about the good things that Jesus had done through going to kids' church. Um, I hadn't ever accepted Jesus into my life until one day, I remember, I think I was in the car before school in about year four, and I just asked Jesus to come into my life, and to be honest, I didn't really feel anything happen or anything change. But I guess I just knew that Jesus was always with me and I could always go to him for anything. Um, Then later in year seven, I went to my first youth camp and I specifically remember crying for some reason and experiencing God for myself. At this moment, I was able to surrender to God and live for him since I was, and then since then I was able to pray regularly and turn to God when I needed him most. I've noticed that from being a Christian and from living for God, I'm able to find things that matter most in my life and put more time into it, especially with my relationships with my friends and my family. So baptism has always been on my mind. Um, after Year 7 camp I here at Clovey, I went to a baptism class after youth one night. And I think that was more for just like understanding what baptism was really about and like why people do it. But then I didn't get baptised. And then, again, I went after youth camp in year eight. Um, Didn't get baptised, but I went to the class. And then, again, in year 10, I went to the class, but didn't get baptised. Then this year, I thought about getting baptised, but with everything in my life going on, I didn't want another thing to think about on top of that. But then when I heard there was going to be a baptism Sunday coming up in October, I felt like this was the right time. I'm not quite sure why all the other times I didn't get baptised, or I just, like put it to the side, but I know that today I want to declare my love for Jesus publicly. Awesome. (laughs) Wonderful, Shannon, to hear your story. These guys are going to head back and we get to witness you being baptised, which is such a privilege.
Shannon, on hearing your testimony, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. thank you for her decision Lord and um, we just pray that yeah your love and joy will follow her all the days of her life Lord such a wonderful day as we hear these guys stories the first person that's going to come and share their story to us today is Kamani hello my name is Kamani Drennan and today I want to get baptized I first started following God when I was about seven or eight years old I started following God because both Nathan and Julian followed God so I thought I would try eventually I followed God for myself and started reading the Bible for myself. This led me into accepting Jesus into my life and wanting to be baptized today. Jesus means everything to me, and I know that Jesus will always protect and guide me through the good times and the bad times of life. One of my favorite Bible passages comes from Luke 6, verse 27 to 28. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. This means no matter how much someone hurts you, you love them just like God loves you when you make mistakes. I'm getting baptized today because I feel this will help me get closer to God. And I feel this is the next step in my journey with Jesus. Thank you for listening. Well done, Kamani. So good. Thanks, Kamani. Okay, now we're going to hear from Lucas from his story. Um, hello everyone, I'm Lucas. Um, so before I met Jesus, um, things in my life were a little bit unclear. Um, I didn't have a close relationship or a strong relationship with God. And um, so when I was younger, maybe around year five or six, um, going to church wasn't really um, something I wanted to do. It was a bit more of a chore for me. Um, but luckily, I've found God's presence and I found him. Um, Two things that stood out for me mainly were um, a Bible verse someone wrote, um, wrote for me. It's uh, Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Um, and the second thing was um, a song that I was listening to not long ago. It's um, Christ is Enough by Hillsong Worship. Um, the, main part was stuck, uh, the main part that stuck to me was the bridge of that song. Um, <laughs> It was, um, I've decided to follow Jesus and there's no turning back. Um, God's um, given me a very supportive um, family, good friends. Um, so today I want to um, thank him by going public with my faith in him. Uh, yeah. Um, God's given me amazing um, supportive family and friends. Um, yeah, so today I want to go public in thanking him and committing my life to him. Thank you. Well done, Lucas. So great to hear. And now we have Hannah. Uh, hi, my name is Hannah. Um, I first gave my heart to Jesus when I was four. Um, and so I've been a Christian for like pretty much my whole life. Um, I'm very lucky to have um, amazing parents who um, have made sure that um, Jesus has always been a part of my life. I've grown up in a Christian school and gone to church and been involved in kids church and all that sort of thing. And it's been really good because um, I've been surrounded with people who share my faith and I've been, um, I could always be open about what I believed in. Um, yeah, so I 
in the Christian school, we had um, chapels on Fridays and obviously Sunday. Um, we had church and um, I don't know, when I was little, I had very childlike faith that like, you know, just accepted it as normal. Um, and, but um, I've grown up and started to like question um, these things a bit more and decided that I wanted to do them for myself. Um, so I found out about youth um, and that's been amazing because um, I've been able to experience God and learn more about him um, and yeah, make lots of new friends um, who are also share in the same faith. Um, one particular standout moment for me um, when I really felt like I met God was on my first ever youth camp. Um, the theme was like prophecy and listening to the Holy Spirit um, and we were invited to give that a go. So um, we got into little circles with our friends um, and we just were told to like try and listen to the Holy Spirit and see if you could give like get an image or a, a Bible verse or something. Um, and at the start, I like I tried really hard. I prayed really hard because I just I really wanted God to speak to me because I had never really felt that before. Um, and nothing really happened. And then I realized that it wasn't about like me trying really hard in my own strength. It was about me stopping and listening and waiting for God to speak to me. And so um, I was praying for my friend Eden um, and I got an image of a light, um, like a lamp in a dark room. Um, and at first I wasn't really sure if it was from God or if it was from me. Um, but then Eden said after that um, she had felt the whole day God had um, been telling her that to be the light in the darkness and that was a really um, affirming point for me that God is real and he wants to do stuff um, in and through my life and um, yeah that's mainly the reason why I want to get baptized today I want to go come under the plans that he has for me and I want to follow him for the rest of my life so, yeah. So good. Thank you, Hannah. Wonderful to hear these guys' stories. We're going to head back now and you'll be able to witness them going through the waters of baptism. God, we, uh, we so thank you for, for Kamani, Lord, and we thank you for the person that he is, and we pray, Lord, that you would make him a man of God, a man after your own heart, Lord, and Father, we pray for his future, we pray, Lord, that you would bless him with everything that you have for him, Lord, that he would know you and pursue you and just love you with his whole heart, Lord, so we thank you for him. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Focus on hearing your testimony. It's my absolute pleasure and privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, dear Lord, we just thank you for Lucas, God. We thank you for the amazing young man he is. Um, thank you for, so much for all the 
gifts and talents you've given him and we just pray that he can continue to use them for your glory god god we just pray pray for your complete blessing over his life and that he can continue to live it for you and that he just knows that you love him all the way so yeah thank you for that amen testimony is my absolute privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear God, I just pray for Hannah, Lord. I thank you for the courage that she had to step out in her faith and declare you as her Lord and Savior. Lord, I pray into her future, and I pray for the things you'll continue to do in her and through her, Lord. I thank you for the light that she is in our community, and I pray that you continue to fill her with your joy and your peace and your love. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. 